who are we trying to meet? Where where do we meet them? And also it be more than just, we only meet our customers at one place at one time with one strategy. Monica Carvada, and I'm happy to be your host today of Velocitize Talks. We've got a wonderful special guest today, Peter John Hunt, CTO of Useful Group out of Illinois. Peter John, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really excited to spend some time getting to know you and how you are rocking the world of digital experiences um, and creating more velocity for your clients. Uh, do, would you like to just uh, introduce yourself? Yeah, no, thanks for having me. My name is Peter John, uh, and uh, I'm excited to be on and, and uh, l love what all you, you, you all are doing and uh, being, a, being a part of it. So thanks for having me. I thought we could kick things off today. You guys have a great um, sort of specialty and expertise at, um, excuse me, at Useful Group. And if you could just speak to that a little bit, I know you guys are kind of a think tank in terms of how you how you bring together the best technology in order to achieve a goal on behalf of your clients and, and maybe just speak to what that means for you and for a useful group yeah a lot of our focus has been around how do we how do we get the the uh, excellent people on the team build a process around creativity kind of be artists in each individual field whether that be development the marketing design um, and then really come alongside uh, bigger businesses, enterprises, organizations, and really help them connect the dots of technology. Uh, so we like to think of it a little bit of, uh, around those terms of we're, we're a think tank that has a bunch of people that are exceptionally skilled in different disciplines. And then we bring that into kind of the the, the micro and the macro of, of business solutions, especially, you know, focus around marketing and around technology in general. What are some of those unique specialties that you think really set you all apart or enable you to go, go deep in different areas? I think we're genuinely really interested to understand things and we don't come in with a bunch of uh, assumptions or, you know, my background even personally is, is very self-taught. And so part of what I love is, is the idea of like, there's always room to improve. There's always new ways to do things. And especially when it's focused around technology and marketing and how do we, how do we not just have things that work, but, you know, technology without really um, anticipating how is it solving a problem is, is, is especially like it, it loses its value. Right. So that kind of, um, foundation for us to really jump in at, at, at the outset allows us, I think, to kind of dive that much deeper, create custom creative solutions that other people either wrote off as, as being either impossible, not worth it, or really helping us um, come alongside our customers to wrestle with the tensions in, in the digital world. Is there an example that comes to mind of one of the, those custom solutions that, you know, someone else might have said, well, how, how could that even be possible? One of the first uh, er earlier on in our agency, um, uh, we had a client come to us and they, they had this, this beautiful design with, with all of these intricate like uh, vectored you know, infographics and pieces. And they've been through uh, working with several different agencies and every agency is like, you just like, that's ha that has to be static and you'll have to have a developer update that at every point, right? And so part of our goal, especially coming out of that, like how do we really serve um, the marketer is, is to take really good work product, like awesome design and, and great user experience, and then turning it into something that's not just a, uh, a one and done utility, but is like a, is a living tool. So uh, one of our early on projects was taking that project and, and building out a dynamic, highly robust, scalable tool for them to manage their locations within this, this hi highly custom infographic that, you know, most people were, were just pushing against and it's like, you just have to, you know, we, we can't help the marker. This has to be a developer issue, right? And so um, us being able to kind of push it further into uh, what does it look like to not come in with those assumptions, really, you know, come alongside the marketer, build them a tool that allows them to do what they do well, um, you know, even more so. I'm curious what you're seeing, because I know you all do more complex projects. If you're seeing a trend um, around headless within your firm, in terms of being able to f like further enable the marketer with omni-channel demands while allowing for that flexibility and, and preference for JavaScript on the developer side. 
we I was working on a, a, a headless proposal earlier today, a client that we've been talking through that for from some, for some different e-commerce opportunities. And I think, you know, overall, again, that kind of that whole approach of how does technology solve real real world problems? And that's where it provides its value. Um, we have seen and part of what we like to be heavily involved in is is this whole aspect of like technology um has 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 made a lot of advancements but that's also made it highly complex and so how do we how do we simplify things down into a way that really meets um the people the customers whoever we're trying to hit with uh with these channels effectively so um we've seen some we've seen some you know more of a bent towards things like headless uh we're also pushing forward a lot of just even the the architectures around that whether that be uh componentized or just modern development strategies and auto deployment how how can we empower the content creators to have more agility and not feel like they have to come to a, a web team every time they want to create something or update something um, and at the same time create those guardrails so that the developers can do what they need to do right yeah I mean we've equally seen like clients that come in and, and their only exposure is is a is a robust web app where they feel like they can't make any changes. Everything is this massive ticket and who knows how long it's gonna take. Or on the flip side, you know, the, these these technical organizations come in and their only experience with WordPress is, you know, somebody put a million plugins with a million short codes and it, it was just like spaghetti, right? Uh, and so really pushing forward to say, what can we learn from the the awesome technicals over here? But also like there, there's a reason this other stuff exists. It's solving a real world problem for the marketer. How do we really bring those together in a unique, unique way and create something beautiful? Are you seeing kind of a trend of how, how could we economize uh, better with WordPress? We're definitely seeing trends along those lines of people being more interested into the efficiency side, but also it's grown in the technicalities, which I think gives a lot of uh, confidence in, in what it can be used for and the, the ability it has into the future. And speaking of that, I know you guys are taking something that might be considered only for, you know, um, small shops and really advancing WooCommerce. Do you want to share a little bit about that and what you guys are doing? Yeah, we so we have one one client, especially that more recently we've just been able to really push forward, um, and we've we've got a, a large yeah WooCommerce custom LMS architecture integrated with Salesforce as an entire not only CRM but ERP and custom single sign-on. We got live deploy, automated testing. For me, especially a, a more technical person, it's just awesome to see like this uh, manifestation of, of look at what is not only possible, but is actually excelling at serving in the WordPress enter enterprise space, right? There, there's there's so much content about how WordPress can help uh, the startup or or the initial, you know, the initial company, but, but for me to bring that, to be able to see that brought into, uh, you know, big, big business uh, architecture with modern technologies and strategies, I think is just uh, in incredibly enjoyable to see. Like in the vein of enterprise WordPress, what else um, would you say other clients, uh, trends that you're seeing, just general, general observations uh, in terms of WordPress and the enterprise? Yeah, well, I mean, even marketing as a whole, I think, is is having to refocus a little around attribution. You know, there was there was this sweet time in technology for a while where, uh, especially social media, did did so much of the attribution on their side, and so a lot of marketing, a lot of um, a, a lot of companies could could rely a little bit more on that, and even as as those. Uh, you know, you know, legal stuff and data privacy has changed, and and people are 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 needing to re-strategize what is attribution looking like, and and even uh, how do we how do we know our customer more? How do we how do we build a narrative that really resonates? How do we know even who 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 our community is to to um, you know directly be able to talk to influencers or or whatever those pieces are, right? And so, uh, in some ways, I think. I'm seeing that trend as a whole. I think I think WordPress is uh, is you know is a big piece of that, especially with its market share, but also with uh, you know we're we're so much more in a digital world now than we were even you know a few years ago. And what else are you seeing in terms of like um, social media right now, and what what your clients are doing, and and what you all advise in terms of what's most important to be thinking about? 
like I said a little bit, it's more important now just to be to be more diverse, to be more knowledgeable even on who 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 are we trying to meet, where where do we meet them, and also it be more than just we only meet our customers at one place at one time with one strategy. Um, so it's you know especially broadening that out to what what is it what does it look like to build the funnel at each level of the funnel to understand who our brand is enough to really be able to explain that and display that, communicate that, whether you're you know, listening to a podcast or you're seeing a, a social media ad, uh, you're seeing something from an influencer or you're on the website or wh whatever those pathways are, it being especially more important uh, to, to be more aware of that, that holistic nature of what is our story? How are we telling that? How is it consistent and, and is it meeting people effectively? Do you do you find um, that for, for your different clients, which I know you know have a range of of industries um, and verticals, that it, that one social platform versus another makes more sense? Definitely on a, a brand by brand basis, it depends. You know, if we if we have if we're helping one brand that has kind of a uh, a product that's B two B. It's interesting to see where those where those people are at, and, and, and you know, as we continue to do our data analysis and testing, uh, look digging into what, you know where where is our customer set, where where is a place that they are interested even to see this content, uh, whether they're familiar with us or not. Um, and so we've seen we we have definitely seen um, a range of. It, it depends, you know, it depends on the brand, it depends on the business. Uh, and we're, you know, in, in one of our products, we're seeing good, you know, great, great traction in Facebook that uh, is not, you know, wouldn't resonate in, in Instagram or TikTok. And then other places, you know, Instagram is like, is like the 80% of it and then, uh, and then beyond. What's your observation? What, what's it been like for you the past two years? And, and where do you think, see things going now? Especially coming out of the last couple of years, I mean, even our name, right? Useful group. Part of our our what what gets us up every day is is serving and, and helping and being highly useful to people. And so, uh, it, in some ways, obviously, it came with a lot of tough tough aspects. And uh, in the technology world, there's high, you know just chaos. But um, and we just got to see so many opportunities where we could come alongside people and really help uh, help propel them forward in in a whole lot of uncertainty with technology in a way that really met them that they didn't know they were going to need six months earlier. You, would you share for you, like what fires you up and like inspires you every day with your with your work and then maybe speak on behalf of of useful also um, in terms of like, you know, what what is it? What's your fire that has you inspired every day? We're super blessed that we have a, we have an awesome team of people that really just genuinely care. And to me, like to be a, a, a person that truly is passionate about technology, not not just as a business, but like it's just what I love to to work alongside people that genuinely care and, and love it as well. You know, it's just one of the most enjoyable opportunities out there. And so. Um, that's a huge part of, of what gets me up, but 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 like I said, even more so is just like the opportunity to uh, to build things that really help people, push people forward, serve people, and and even that whole idea of how do we come in without um, you know our our assumptions and and how do we come in and actually learn enough to really know what does help people. Well, Peter, John, thank you so much for joining me and our being a part of Velocitize Talks. This has been great getting to know you and how you guys are helping everyone crush digital in 2022. I appreciate it. It's been a joy.